For years, even decades, PIX11 has exposed the seedy sites along Roosevelt Avenue. Sex workers up and down the Queens Business District. Families, children and shops forced to exist among the brothels and blatant solicitation. Until now. Thursday night, dozens of NYPD cops breaking down doors to a half dozen prostitution parlors. And this is what the community wants, and here we ought to get, to get this done. What's been known as the Roosevelt Avenue Red Light District exposed and the sex trafficking victims liberated. We don't want to lock up the women that work here. We want to get right. them help. Mayor Eric Adams was on hand to watch the operation in full tilt. He even posted the scarlet letter on one sex shop he toured, the court ordering it closed. This is uh, it's just inhumane with just individual beds with uh, curtains up to divide uh, the you know the, the activities that are taking place. So Sometimes they even pulling the people, so, uh, dragging the people inside. So it's awful. Council member Francisco Moya has been advocating for his constituents, demanding action. Today is a really great day for the people and the businesses here in Corona Queens. Rajbir Kaur owns the salon next door. She complains the women stand in front driving away business. Like our customers even they say like, oh my God, it's dirty here. While some residents worry prostitution will be back, she's hopeful it's gone for good. We are happy now. Now we are happy. Well, Council Member Boya has also introduced a bill in the City Council that would require the Health Department to do spot checks to make sure that employees of these businesses are actually licensed and anything that looks amiss would be flagged for possible sex trafficking.